Hi folks, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today we will talk about uh, trade preparation for next week, uh, the week starting on 19th of January. So first uh, stock is AYX, Alter Risk. So this is a you know data, big data play. As you can see here, um, it's forming a nice uh, squeeze. Um, you know, in the daily, it's actually becoming positive, um, trending to uh, be above line, uh, above the line. And on the two-day chart, it's really clearly showing the sign of you know going above the line. So it's a positive sign. And same story on the weekly uh, basis. Um, so overall, and if you look at uh, DI plus, DI plus, which is the blue line, jumped above uh, the red line. And let's go to a different chart to look at a little more details here. And this is a little bit bigger chart. So if you see here, the earnings is coming in next 16 days. Implied volatility is uh, IV rank is relatively low, 33.2%. So good to buy when implied volatility is low. Um, and as I talked about the DI plus, the blue line is above uh, the red line. Um, and you know, Volume average is kind of going up a little bit, which is a good sign. And chocolate money flow is also kind of, you know, above, um, a little bit flattish, but on the higher side. So overall, I feel it's a, you know, good play going into um, next week. Uh, especially, you know, the situation is improving. And as you can see here, the weekly, um, the two day and the weekly are really getting to be positive above the line. So next pick is uh, NOC, uh, Northrop, uh, Northrop Grumman. It's a defense player um, in the defense industry. Um, let's give it a minute here. And this stock, as you can see here, there's a nice daily squeeze, a squeeze coming up in the daily chart. And, um, you know, it's, uh, as you can see here, the yellow bar is above the line. Um, and, you know, on the higher uh, wave, longer term wave, it's a little bit negative, but uh, I think it's uh, getting, you know, uh, better because ADX, as you can see here, it's uh, the positive, the blue line is going above the red line. And as you look at the two-day chart, it's, uh, you know, kind of getting to positive. Um, squeeze is trying to go on the positive side here. And same story on the weekly. We are getting some yellow bars here, which is a good sign. And same story here on the little bit, uh, you know, uh, longer term. And if you go to the bigger chart here, uh, let's go to Northrop. So if you see here, earnings is coming up uh, in eight days, which is around the corner. IV is relatively low. Implied volatility rank is relatively low. Um, and DI plus, the blue line is above the red line and uh, volume average is picking up picking up on the balance volume is picking up clearly chocolate money flow is money is flowing into the stock so i think it's a you know good uh, position to really initiate a um a, a call spread below the stock price and you know uh, buy below the stock price and sell above the stock price or you can even do a delta 70 call next we'll talk about uh, uh Abbott Labs, ABT, it's a medical device uh, company. As you can see here, it's uh, doing pretty well off late. So a squeeze is forming the daily chart, uh, trying to be, you know, uh, firing on the positive side here. And we also have a squeeze on the two-day chart, a squeeze on the monthly chart, uh, sorry, weekly chart. Uh, so overall, I think you know, it's uh, doing very well. As we can go to the next bigger slide chart here, um, so earnings is uh, 127 around the corner, seven days, as you can see. IV rank is relatively very low, 19.5, and DI plus is above DI minus, and uh, the ADX is trying to uh, go higher, which is a good sign. Clearly, uh, on the balance, volume is going up, and uh, chuckle money flow is also, money is flowing into the stock. I think you know all signs are uh, you know showing positive sign here. I think you can go ahead and do a delta 70 call three months out, or even a call spread, uh, which is a bullish uh, call spread. Um, next, we'll talk about uh, DocuSign. 
DocuSign is really a great stock of late. Uh, it's uh, trying to you know get rid of all the manual signatures. Uh, think about mortgage and uh, various uh, paper signing. So it's uh, coming up with the you know very digital way of you know doing the signatures. So with the DocuSign, as you can see here, we got a um, on a weekly chart here we got a squeeze trying to form we have one line above which is a positive sign here um, and let's go to the bigger chart here and on the bigger chart here um, clearly di plus is above di minus which is the you know blue line above red line adx is uh, you know going up which is a good sign and um, volume average is uh, on the balance volume is going up chocolate money flow is also going up implied volatility rank iv rank is literally low it's a very good one to really um, buy um, either delta 70 call three months out or a call spread um, you know bullish call spread next we'll talk about uh, akamai uh, which is like you know very good uh, company uh, i've been trading this for a long time So Akamai, as you can see here, uh, we have a, on the daily chart, it's trying to get to the positive. You see here, there's a yellow, yellow bar painted here. On the two-day chart, we got a squeeze formed and, uh, you know, both uh, short term and the longer term views are about zero. It's a bullish sign. And weekly chart, we got, if you see here, the bar is becoming, the yellow bars are becoming shorter and shorter, which is a good sign. It'll probably fire on the positive side bullish side and if you go to the bigger chart next um, clearly uh, di plus is above di minus adx is trying to make its way up and on the balance volume is going up and even chocolate money flow is going up um, iv rank is a little low 30.8 30 and next earning in in 16 days it's same story which we should probably do a delta 70 call below the stock price or uh, do a call spread basically in out bullish spread with that we'll go to the last uh, next stock which is uh, amwell it's again a it's a medical um, you know a company telehealth type company So if you look at this here, <clears throat> you know, it's uh, on the daily chart, it's becoming bullish. As you can see, the yellow bars are becoming shorter, trying to, you know, be, go on the higher side, positive side here. On the two-day chart, it's, uh, you know, painting, a there's a squeeze. And as you see here, uh, both shorter term and longer term waves are above zero. Um, and if you go to the bigger chart here, um, DI plus is above DI minus, ADX is trying to creep up, which is a good sign, and uh, volume average is picking up. Uh, chocolate money flow is a little bit lower, um, but you know, I think uh, other things are very good. So I think it's again, you know, it's a little bit beaten down stock. I would think it's a good one to go with. Only thing to watch out is IV rank is a little bit higher. So probably with the IV rank high, it may not be a great idea to you know go buy at this point. I would I would wait on this. Uh, we'll go to the next one, uh, and our last stock is uh, Overstock. Overstock is actually changing rapidly, as we all know. Um, you know, it's it used to be you know stocking some of these uh, apparel uh, type you know clothing earlier, but now they're going into furniture um, and giving a you know. Uh, run for money for things you know companies like Wayfair with that we got uh, on the daily side it's becoming bullish as you can see here um, and on the two day also it's trying to become bullish and we got a squeeze formed on the weekly chart it's again trying to be bullish here and on the monthly it's already bullish as you can see here so oh, let's go to the bigger chart here on the bigger chart, um, as you can see here, DI plus is above DI minus, which is a good sign. On the balance, volume is picking up, and chocolate money flow is also reasonably well. Implied wall is very low, 6.7, and next earning is in 38 days. I think, you know, because stock is kind of beaten down at this point, 
um, I think it's a you know good one uh, with the implied wall low you can initiate a Delta 70 call three months out or even a in out call spread which is a bullish call spread um, uh, three months out and take it from there um, hope you enjoy it happy trading thank you